It adds a little something to it for, for the marriage for you, but wow, a whole lot of rain for us here in North Texas. Great video to show you there. Take a look at the video from our Dallas Skycam time lapse today of the mix of the cloud cover. That's actually, actually, this we're going to Kingsland first. All right, as you're able to see this video now just coming into us here in the, the newsroom. This is from yesterday uh, near Kingsland. Uh, this is courtesy of the Texas Game Warden. We see a woman there being rescued from her lakefront home coming out of a second window. And there, as you can see, climbing out right there. This is what I wanted to show you first, but we can see it right now the Dallas Sky Cam time lapse as we saw through the day today. We're going to see uh, the rain continuing for us here in North Texas. Want to point out you see this flash, flashing green box uh, that shows the aerial flood advisory in effect for now Denton, Parker, Tarrant, and Wise County until 8 o'clock today. So the southeast sides there of Wise County, southwest of Denton, northwest sides of Tarrant, as you can see, east sides of Parker as well. So we're seeing rainfall rates of maybe three tenths of an inch of rain per hour, a little bit higher than that in some of these yellow pockets. So that's some moderate rain pushing into the Metroplex. So light to moderate rain continues. And that's why that aerial flood advisory is in effect. And it's not a surprise because the ground is so saturated. So low lying areas might fill up with some more water again. South County is right now drying out just a bit. You see more rain stretching all the way back through Jacksboro, all the way through Sulphur Springs, and widening out the view. That rain stretches all the way down past Abilene, down to the east of Midland, Odessa area. So we're seeing that rain streaming its way from the southwest to the north. And the radar estimated rainfall over the past 12 hours shows that we haven't seen heavy rain today, but we have seen just that nuisance rain. And in some spots, a half of an inch to near an inch of rain, adding on to a very soggy ground. So those rain chances, we have more rounds to go. We have rain chances back to 60% Thursday, Friday, 80%, Saturday morning at a 30% chance, and then through the day on Saturday into Sunday, drying out, and we remain dry through Monday. Here's the future sky forecast showing that rain that's going to be spreading overhead again tonight. Now, tomorrow morning, we'll see some scattered showers around, maybe some drizzle for the drive on in to work on your Thursday. And through the late morning hours into the afternoon, not too bad. But then late in the day, more rain spreads its way from south to north, and then going into Friday, heavy rain back into the forecast, so some flooding concerns continue to round out the work week. So that rainfall update, as we talked about, the wettest fall on record, the second wettest October on record, the wettest September on record, and now the 10th wettest year on record. I want a sunny day. I want a sunny something record on, on record. As you take a look, though, more rain's on the way for us. We're going to be dealing with another inch to two inches of rain in the forecast between now and Saturday. Our high today, 56 degrees going into tonight. Our temperatures will cool down a little bit. We'll be down to 52 degrees, back to 62 degrees Thursday, 60 on Friday. Rain chances 80%. On Saturday, 71 degrees. That's nice for us. And then Sunday into Monday, that sunshine finally returns. Get outside and and enjoy that because unfortunately rains back